Language and Meaning Module 1A Functional Grammar aims to match forms to function and meaning in context. This module introduces the three strands of meaning that form the basis of a functional interpretation of grammar, the representational, the interpersonal and the textual. Each of these strands is encoded in the clause, or simple sentence, as a type of structure. The three structures are mapped onto one another, illustrating how the three types of meaning combine in one linguistic expression. 1.1 Communicative Acts Let us start from the basic concept that language is for communication. Here is part of a recorded conversation taken from a sociological project of the University of Bristol. The speakers are Janice, a girl who runs a youth club and disco in an English town, and Chris, one of the boys in the club, who is 19 and works in a shop. In the dialogue, we can distinguish various types of communicative act, or speech act, by which people communicate with each other. Making statements, asking questions, giving directives with the aim of getting the hearer to carry out some action, making an offer or promise, thanking or expressing an exclamation. Offer J. If you like, I'll come into your shop tomorrow and get some more model aeroplane kits. Reminder C. Okay, don't forget to bring the bill with you this time. Promise J. I won't. Question Do you enjoy working there? Statement C. It's all right, I suppose. Gets a bit boring. It'll do for a while. Statement J. I would have thought you were good at selling things. Statement C. I don't know what to do really. I've had other jobs. My dad keeps on at me to go into his business. He keeps offering me better wages, exclamation, but the last thing to do is to work for him. Question J. Why? Echo question C. Why? You don't know my old man. I exclamations wouldn't work for him. He always statement wanted me to, but we don't get on. Question Do you think it's possible to get me on a part-time youth leadership course? Offer. Promise J. I'll ring up tomorrow, Chris, and find out for you. Thanking C. Thanks a lot. In a communicative exchange such as this between two speakers, the kind of meaning encoded as questions, statements, offers, reminders and thanks is interpersonal meaning. Asking and stating are basic communicative acts. The thing asked for or stated may be something linguistic, such as information or an opinion. Do you enjoy working there? It's all right. I suppose, or it may be something non-linguistic, some type of goods and services, such as handing over the aeroplane kits. This non-linguistic exchange may be verbalized by, for instance, here you are, but it need not be. Typically, however, when goods and services are exchanged, verbal interaction takes place too, for instance, Asking a favor, do you think it's possible to get me on a part-time youth leadership course or giving a promise, I'll ring up tomorrow, Chris, and find out, for you, are carried out verbally. The grammatical forms that encode two basic types of interpersonal communication are illustrated in section 1.3.2. The whole area is dealt with more fully in chapter 5.